Implicit bias is actually the, the probably the more useful term is um, implicit cognition, right? And it's an umbrella term for a variety of attitudes, beliefs, knowledge, stereotypes that we all carry to a certain degree, but they have very specific characteristics. They tend to be automatically triggered, they tend to be really hard to control, and many times they can affect what we say, what we do, without us knowing that it's actually doing that. And so um, what it implies for politics is that a lot of what we consider thinking is very split second, is very um, effective, it involves a lot of emotion. If you look at the issue of immigration, many people, not everyone, but many people in the, in the mass public have an implicit attitude toward Latinos relative to whites. If they pick up on patterns that they see in the media, right, where um, one group is constantly paired with negative information, irrespective of whether the information is valid or not, a person's mind is making sense of that pattern. And so it's stored there in memory. And so when you actually broach the issue of immigration, it's one of the first things that flares up, right? So that's how it matters. Something like this matters for politics. And it is subtle, right? When we talk about implicit attitudes, you know, these are the kinds of things that get, for example, police officers in trouble in very sticky situations, right? One of the first things that sort of jumps out, out of their heads when they encounter, say, a black suspect might be or an association between African Americans and weapons. That's been clearly documented. And so the way this works is it's the first thing that tumbles out. It'll structure the things that you actually have control over. And all this is to say it, it can matter in those very split second kinds of scenarios for whether a police officer decides to shoot or not shoot. Some of it is in their control. Some of it is not in their control and it has to do with a part of their mind that picks up on that association between African Americans and weapons. Even with all the motivation in the world, that implicit bias is gonna get the best of you, right? Because you didn't have enough time, right, for example, to act on that motivation to try to do better.